you are all good i just got back off of the school run and it's actually boiling outside today it's so hot i have no idea why i put this hoodie on well to be honest when i left the house it wasn't that hot so that's my excuse but i am going to have to get myself changed before i do that i'm going to give this house a bit of a spring clean because it's looking a bit grubby everywhere you know when your house is generally like got bits and bats scattered around but then some days it all just it all just gets to you and you're like Ugh, i just need to do like a proper spring clean and get everything sorted out and make it look nice and fresh again check out those cute little smiley sleepy dimples i'm riding solo again today <laughs> me and jace he's just milk drunk right now fast oh. asleep but chris is off doing some work with some skating bits and bats some filming that he's got to do and it was kind of like a last minute thing so he's gone out to do that now it's just coming up to he's just gone 11. he's just left to go and do that and he won't be back again till about 9 p.m tonight but it's all good me and jace are going to actually i've got no idea he's been a little bit <laughs> fidgy bottom he looks so so cute today he actually had a different outfit on then we changed him when i realized it was going to be really nice and warm out today i kind of feel like we should go for a picnic or something make the most of the nice weather chris actually left me his debit card and told me to go and get myself some new clothes because i am literally wearing the same ones over and over and over again and obviously it's okay to do that but a lot of them that i'm wearing are winter like jumpers and it's just the weather's getting surprisingly here in the uk warmer and i've got a very limited amount of t-shirts this being my favorite one um it's actually a breastfeeding one this it's got zips on the side it's from one of my friends who sell like proper um milky tea it's called her company she sells proper breastfeeding t-shirts that are amazing i love them so much you should go and check her out but i do need some other clothes we've got a event to go to tomorrow and i need to wear something decent for that so he left me his card and told me to go and buy something but i absolutely hate shopping for myself i just don't know if i can bear the thought of going out and doing that today especially with jace who's probably or likely going to be fussy in the changing rooms so i don't know don't know what to do today it's going to sit here and admire this little one it's, it's getting so long he actually looks massive laid there and then make a plan and decide what we're going to do now that jace has woken up it's time to get a move on with our day because we all know or our parents know how fast the day flies by when the girl when your children are at school we've got a wash on we've got to wait for this one to finish and then pop another one in and then we can set off Prini, can do wee wee oh my gosh our grass is growing so fast we only had that cut like a week ago come on darling go do wee wees oh whoa it's so hot out here oh my goodness oh my gosh i just want to sit on here and relax in the sun all day Prini. but that's not gonna happen is it a little bit too hot out here for you you a hot dog <laughs> such a nice day i love 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 summer comment down below guys and let me know what your favorite favorite season is my favorite season's actually not summer it's autumn love cozy nights comment down below guys let me know what your favorite season is so i've just come up to matalan i've got outside and the weather is way too nice today to spend it going anywhere indoorsy type shopping like big shopping centers not to mention the fact that i hate shopping for myself i'd much rather go out and buy things for the girls <laughs> literally which is why they end up with so much because i just hate shopping for myself but there is a matalan not too far from my house and on the way to what me and jace are going to do this afternoon i thought i'd just stop here see if there is anything no pressure if there's not then there's not I always put way too pressure on my too much pressure on myself to get something like I need to get something and then I end up being miserable when nothing fits because I'm not joking guys I've literally eaten more since Jace has been born than what I did the whole nine months I was pregnant like seriously I don't know if it's something to do with breastfeeding but I feel hungry all the time and it's really bad uh, this week it's not been too bad like I've been making much healthier choices before last week sorry before this week I've been going for the wrong thing so I'll be hungry so I'll go to the cupboard and I'll get two biscuits and then an hour later I'll be hungry again so I'll go and get like a bar of chocolate or something like that so we got loads of fruit in over the weekend and um, I've been going for apples and things like that but 
I can't remember what my point was. <laughs> my point was that, um, yeah, nothing seems to fit me. I just need to go and see if there's anything in Matalai. I'm just looking for cheap things. You guys know me. I don't like expensive designer things. I just like cheap and cheerful. So we're going into Matalai. Jace, a little update on Jace in the car, actually. Hello, cheeky bye. Hello. He's been so much better in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you are so sweet. Look at his face. You are such a big boy. <laughs> How does that not hurt your little throat? He's been so much better in the car. I don't know if it's just because he's got a little bit more older and his tolerance concentration i don't know has just got a little bit more but he absolutely loves just sitting there smiling at mummy <laughs> i can't resist his smile and playing with this oh little one and playing with this which is his favorite um little mirror thing that i got on the vlog actually not long after he was born from mother care and he loves it what is it? Look at those little chubby legs. <laughs> Are you ready to come and help mummy go shopping? Now I say he's been much better in the car. Let's see if he's much better walking around the shops. Hey, let's see if he's much better in the changing rooms. Are you going to be a good boy for mummy? Oh my gosh, I'm going to eat you all up. I'm going to eat you all up. Don't look serious. I'm not actually going to eat you all up. <laughs> <laughs> so far so good although we have found this little cutie <laughs> to keep him occupied haven't we do you like that do you like that yeah beautiful boy <laughs> okay guys so i found this which is a really pretty dress and it has the buttons here which are actual buttons so it'd be great for feeding in but why it just does not look good on me so i'm not going to go for that I love this yellow dress up here, but I can't find it in store. I can find the top, but not the dress. I quite like this. What do you guys think of this? It's kind of like a shirt dress. I don't know if it'd be long enough to wear as a dress, or if I'd have to wear it as a, a shirt. I really, really like that. Uh, it's just so pretty, perfect for summer, really thin, easy to feed in. I think that was really pretty. I might have to try that on. I also quite like this. This kind of looks like one of those dresses that doesn't look too nice on the hanger but I bet would actually look quite nice on. What do you think, mister? Should we try this one too? Smile if it's a yes. Oh, you don't like it? Take that as a no then. Oh my gosh, guys, literally never been so embarrassed in my whole entire life. Don't know if in the previous shot when I was showing you guys the pink dress that Jace didn't like. It's three months old, what do you know? Don't smile at me now. Anyway, lady stood at the side of me said, I agree with you. I think this will look really, really nice on you. It looks like one of those dresses that's, like you say, not too special on the hanger, but would look really nice on. And I saw her like looking at me in like uh, something, was, you know when you just feel like something's on you, like you've got something on your face type thing. I felt a bit, little bit like that, but I had a nice little chat with her. She cooed over Jace and then we walked on. I just walked past the mirror. So this is what I've got on today, guys. Just some shoes, some cropped jeans and this top. Now this top, you guys, zips here, as you can see. Like a little zip going down. Well, the zip was actually half down. <laughs> when I left the house after feeding Jace, I obviously didn't think to zip it up and properly put myself away. So I just drove here, walked halfway around Matalan with half my um, bus hanging out. Nice. So we're on a roll. Little man still being a good boy. Still happy sat there in his pram, as you can see. Every time I talk to him, he smiles, it's so sweet. Anyway, I've got some white jeggings, some denim jeggings. And how nice is this? Really pretty little casual top. Might have to get this. We just got to the changing rooms. So far, so good. No tears yet. Although we are getting a little bit vocal, <laughs> which sometimes mean the tears are on their way. I've got a few items here, guys, that are way out of my comfort zone. But I'm going to try them and see what we think, okay? So here is dress number one. It's really comfy. I'm not sure on the style, though, and the print on me. Also, actually, could I feed in this? Probably could. I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. It's one of those dresses that's really in between. I can't decide if... It looks nice on me, but I like the dress, maybe on someone else. A bit taller, a bit slimmer, but it's quite nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? Dress number two, I actually don't like this one at all. It's way too big, it's too baggy on the back, and it's actually broke. One of the buttons here is um, broke. So yeah, 
No, this looks like an actual bag of rags on me. Dress number three is another no. <laughs> it doesn't seem to fit quite right. It's like a yellow color one. It's just, don't know, maybe a bit huggy in the wrong places and a bit big in the wrong places. Lovely color though. Don't know if you can hear Jace in the background. He's literally getting to the stage where he's like, no, nope, don't want to be in these change rooms anymore. Anyway, just put on another dress. It's another no. <laughs> it's like a linen material. It's quite nice but it's just i don't know it just doesn't suit me at all and i hate my arms and it's short sleeved so this is a no so i'm actually in shock right now the dress i picked up and thought let's just be risky and go for it and try something a bit out of my comfort zone it'll be funny for the vlog i actually love it so it's this orange floaty dress and it's so pretty okay you guys might not all agree with me obviously we all have different tastes I think this is so nice. It fits really nice. It's super comfortable and uh, I can feed in it. It's just so vibrant and sunny. I actually really, really like this. I think the colour's amazing and it will be perfect for sunny days. I'm going to get this. Okay guys, we've had to resort to a bit of baby sensory. It's doing the trick. And we've got another yes outfit. I really like this. It's so comfortable. It's just a shirt, like I showed you there pink one with the little cactuses on with some white cropped trousers i never ever usually wear white because i don't know <laughs> i just never ever usually wear white and this top's quite see-through i've got a black brown and you can see through it so i'll probably have to wear a vest with it i like this just for a casual warm day so i know i was saying before i don't usually like my arms out which is true i don't but i really do like this top it's super pretty i don't know if the camera picks up these but they're like just navy blue jeggings and a really pretty top I quite like this. I'm on a roll, you guys. I'm literally so excited right now. Yeah. Another dress that actually I really like. This is one I showed you in store. And I said I weren't sure if it would be long enough to wear as a dress or if I'd have to wear it with leggings. But I think it's absolutely fine to wear as a dress. And it's so pretty. I love the sleeves. It's really casual. It'd be perfect for a hot sunny day with like some, um, some sandals or something. I really like this one. Last one. And I think Jace was right about this one. It does look a little bit like a tea cosy on me. <laughs> I just don't think this shape's very flattering for me with the frill here. So my, my hips are huge. I've got big hips. Um, and yeah, this is just not the most flattering. Little baldy one. <laughs> got very bored in his pram. I think he's getting hungry. There is a changing room in here, which is great. So I think we're going to go and have a little feed. But before we do, I thought I'd have a look at bags because, you know, I just, I could do with a small bag. And I feel like when you have a baby and you start using your changing bag, you kind of lose a little bit of yourself and just turn into just mom with a massive changing bag full of nappies and your phone's lost somewhere deep down in your changing bag that you can't usually find. So I was just looking at these bags just for a small one that will fit like my card in, a purse maybe, and my phone. And I really like this one. I just think it's really pretty. What do you think, Jay? You think I don't care, I just want to go and have a feed? Should mommy get this bag? Cry if it's a yes. Oh, thank you. So Jace is fast asleep after his feed and I thought whilst I was here and I've got Chris's card, it would be rude not to treat myself to a pair of shoes. Not expensive ones, obviously. Just some shoes to go my new outfits. There's so many to choose from. I actually quite like these. I think these would look really pretty with some of the dresses I got. These are the kind of shoes I'm looking for, just sandal, uh oh. Jace woke up. I also really like these ones and they're only 12 pounds. Hmm, can't decide which ones to get. Maybe I'll get both. Sadly, I didn't have time to go to the park for a little picnic with Jace today like I'd planned. It took way, way longer in Matalan than I thought I would. But I did have time to go for an iced tea from Costa because it's so hot today. So I've got myself a peach iced tea. To be honest, I think it'd be too hot for Jace out here today anyway. It's boiling. Do those fingers taste good, little boy? Baby sensory, while sucking on his fingers. We just went to school and everybody was crowding, ra crowding round him going, I need a jiggy bag. Just, they were, weren't they? Yeah. Isla wanted me to bring Jason and show him to all of her school friends, which we did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the kind mums gave Isla an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> so she was loving life. Where well, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Little Jace was such a good boy. Meeting all the teachers. And it's 23 degrees today. It is. Jace is definitely too hot today, Isla. Yeah. He's just loving life. But anyway, how are you doing at school? 
really good. You're doing really good. You said you've got some lots of friends. Yes. Which one? It was so embarrassing. Oh. Right now, um, in the playground, we had we were playing Daredevil, which is just where you like do dares. Yeah. <laughs> and um, a girl um, in my class, she said, um, uh, this is there for her and everybody else today who was playing the game. Yeah. We had to go up to all all three of the teachers. Yeah. And if you know a song, Old Town Road, if you know the rap in it, we had to do that with the actions. And then after, we had to do a show and tell in front of the whole class. You and all your friends did? Yeah. Oh my I, gosh. I actually fell on the floor, I was laughing that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Because Eva's best friend from school left. Eva? What? Isla's best friend from school, Eva left. Uh -huh. um, the teacher gave you somebody to look after you, didn't he, yeah. in the class? But what did all the girls do? What was they all, who, who wanted to look after you? Everybody. Was they all arguing over Isla? Yeah, there was actually, they actually was. Yeah, but you just said you can all play together, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Very good girl. She, Isla just said, let's all just play together. Are you getting a little bit bored now? <coughs> Should we get ourselves in? We've only got about 40 minutes and then we need to set back off and pick up your other two sisters. Mm -hmm. Jace is looking at your ice cream right now like, oh yeah. Probably should just suck my fingers, but really, I want some ice cream. <laughs> Hello everyone, I have just got back home and OMG, today has been crazy, I feel like I haven't seen you guys or spoke to the camera literally all day and that is because when I got back from school I literally had half an hour, I had dance rehearsals tonight, I didn't realise that they were going to last quite late so I had my lesson at half four and then that was like, but I had to do two different dances with two different classes um so it lasted a little longer it ended like maybe half five six ish yeah about half five and so then my teacher said me and mum were like setting off because esme had some school stuff that like a school day thing like a i don't really know what it was um but we were like oh can we go now and my dance teacher was like no you can't go because we actually have rehearsals extra tonight and I, which i didn't realize so i was like oh that's fine so mum went with the girls and i just stayed with my friends at dance um, but I didn't realise that, I did like my first two dances and I didn't realise I had a massive weight, which m I, m me and mum didn't realise. Um, so other people were doing dances which I weren't in. I was sat there until like 7.30, so from half five to 7.30, sat there literally doing nothing because all my other like friends and people were all like in the class. And so I'm just like, oh my goodness me. Anyway, ended up, uh, I went in up to my next class at 7.30. I then did a bit of dance. It got to eight o'clock. Mum came and picked me up. And I just got back home. And I'm super, super, super drained and tired. Literally, I can't even open my eyes. Literally, when I was sat down, like dancing, I was just, just sat there like, oh my gosh. I am so tired. I also didn't sleep too well last night. I don't know why. I sometimes have like nights where I literally just don't sleep. Like... I just, I just don't sleep and most of the time I actually just I prefer to like not go to sleep I prefer to just stay awake I don't know it might just be me guys but um I just have horrible nightmares like I don't even know why like, all the time I'll have absolute horrible nightmares I won't go into detail about them because they're very very horrible um and then I don't go to sleep all night because I'm so terrified I also I don't really know why I'm talking about this but um also I don't know why it's just me, but I cannot have my toes out at the end of the bed. And also, I can't have, like, the covers at the end of my bed. If I can see the end of my bed, I'm like, someone's going to pop out from there and murder me. That is literally what I feel. Anyway, don't even know. We're going completely off track. Um, I'm about to go get myself ready for bed and sort my hair out because it's a mess. Yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys once I've done that. Super glad that I got back in time to tuck these gorgeous girls into bed. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much, Isla. Mm -hmm. We just had a nice catch up, didn't we, girls? Yeah. Yeah. Telling me all about your adventures at school today. I have sports day tomorrow. Yes, you do. Me and Mum are coming to sit in your school Great. field for hours tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. And it's going to be fun. Yeah. And it's going to be very hot. Yeah. Some people are doing 600 metres and I'm doing 50. That's good, man, because you're yeah. a fast little sprinter, that's why. Yeah. You're a boss. 
See you both in the morning, bright and early. Night, girls. Love you too. I see Sarah's washing power from this morning. Never made it to the washing machine. <laughs> so what's that about you uh, putting that wash load on this morning, babe, before you left the house? I did two wash loads today. I got that third one out just because I was going to do it, but then... But then? Then I went shopping. <laughs> Playing Rolo. No, I'm only playing. I know you've been busy today. It's been a mad night. In fact, yeah, don't even dare while you've been off roller skating with your mates. No, rollerblading. Roller There's a big out. difference. You've been playing out. No, I've not been playing out. Guys, he's been playing out. You know, like when you're a teen and you go and play out no. with your mates? No, I've been grafting, mate, actually. You've been playing out with your mates. Yeah, 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 keep chatting. I've been driving back and forth like the ultimate mum taxi. I forgot that Esme had, and I'm such a bad parent, I forgot Esme had a prize giving evening. At school, I forgot Isabel's dance was on until eight, and they both clashed. So I was literally driving back and forth, back and forth, picking her up, dropping her off, staying for the prize evening for two hours, trying to keep Rollo from like making a noise. The whole thing was silent, and he kept going Ooh, in this big hall with like two hundred people, and everyone was turning around, smiling obviously. You should have a big massive S on your chest yeah, for a super, super mum. Mom. Oh yeah, I'm actually, I actually quite enjoyed it today. Kept me busy, running around, back and forth. Girls were happy. Rolo is happy. You've been out playing with your friends, so you're happy. Sweet, I'll go tomorrow, yeah? Off you go, mate. <laughs> Sweet, fine. What, no mate? problem. He sent me to. about five texts today saying, I wish I could just come home. <laughs> Miss you. Why are you lying? You haven't got a one text off me today. You FaceTime me about 20 times. You haven't, you haven't, Ooh, we've had no text. <laughs> anyway, guys, I do apologise for the big five-hour gap between... Picking Isla up from school and then the clip here now or when we got back home like five hours later I totally forgot I had those things going on tonight and it was literally non-stop from getting Isla at school. So that's why there's a big jump but I hope you did all enjoy this vlog. Comment down below and let me know if you liked any of the outfits that I got today. Sometimes I feel, or I think most women do but I feel very self-conscious shopping for myself but even more so filming and putting it like online for everyone to see. Wait, it's did you buy yourself a superwoman suit? I need a superwoman suit because I am superwoman. Cringe. Yeah, that is a bit cringe. Sorry guys. But um, no, I do I do feel self-conscious about things like that. So um, comment down below, let me know if you liked any of the outfits and we'll see you back here tomorrow, 5 p.m. Thank you so much for watching and good night. <laughs>